uh, each side needs this deal to be done but Inter wants their money and Man United don't want to overpay. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market and today guys I wanted to clarify something on four of the biggest sagas we are having now on the transfer market Harry Kane, Declan Rice, but also the situation of Andre Onana, Moises Caicedo, let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me start by clarifying something on the Andre Onana situation. I have many Manchester United fans waiting for the here we go, waiting for the statement. And guys, the optimism remains around this deal. Uh, let me say that uh, during Wednesday, Inter and Manchester United spoke again about Andre Onana. It's kind of tense discussion, but I try to explain you why. Uh, because all parties feel that this deal will happen. Because Man United said goodbye to David De Gea and they have Onana as a top target, they are very close to matching what Inter want for Andre Onana, and also Inter, because they are already working on new goalkeepers, including Trubin, Sommer, they want to sign two goalkeepers on the market, so they are already working on the future. So both clubs know that uh, each side needs this deal to be done, but Inter wants their money, and Man United don't want to overpay. So the two clubs are in contact, they're working on it, and I'm told that on Thursday, so in the next 24 hours, there will be a new round of talks to try to get this deal done. So waiting for this new round of talk and waiting for the Andre Onana deal to be completed. It was a tense day in terms of exchange between the two clubs, but the deal remains absolutely on and absolutely close to being completed. So this is a normal exchange at this stage of the deal when both sides are trying to have the best advantage on this situation. So deal on and Thursday, new talks to get it done. But Andre Onana remains very close to Manchester United, as I told you one week ago. Let me say also one more thing uh, regarding the Andre Onana situation is that Manchester United also had contacts for another goalkeeper in sense of uh, being prepared in case uh, there would be some surprise, but what I'm hearing is absolutely Onana close, Onana priority and deal expected to be completed. So it was just something that they did to be prepared in case of some surprise, but not something advanced at all. I tell you this in prediction on some potential rumors in the next hours, but Onana remains the priority of Manchester United and very close to being completed. I want to say also to Arsenal fans who are desperate to have the announcement of Declan Rice, Timber, guys, I can't control that. Me, as other journalists, I think, is not on journalists to say when the club will announce the deals. So it's not on me, it's not on others, it's on the club. So only the club can announce the deals. But let me say again, I said here we go for Rice, for Timber, and I don't change my position. I saw some rumors again today, but guys, I'm told it is just a matter of announcement. So let's wait and see when Arsenal will unveil their new signings. But this remains very clear, Arsenal have everything ready for those two deals and that's the here we go from some days ago. For Moises, Caicedo and Harry Kane, guys. For Harry Kane, let me say that Bayern are not giving up. Uh, we know it's very complicated because Daniel Levy is still fighting to keep the player. Ange Postecoglou spoke and will speak again to Harry Kane. So this is going to be a crucial conversation. Uh, Daniel Levy is not going to accept 70 or 80 million euros for Harry Kane. We know very well and probably not even 90 million euros could be enough to convince Daniel Levy. But what we can say is that Bayern behind the scenes with Thomas Tuchel really active on this deal, they're still pushing. They still hope they can make it happen. They know that Kane is open to the transfer and this is why Bayern remain confident. They know that the player would be open to this possibility, but they also know that it's never easy to negotiate with Levy. So yeah, I expect Bayern to try again for Kane, at least with a new bid, trying to tempt Tottenham with a new proposal. And for Moises Caicedo, guys, what I can say today is that the conversations remain ongoing and what I'm understanding, to give you some more detail on this story is that Chelsea and Brighton are now discussing how much they want to agree for the fixed part of this transfer. Uh, because sources believe that Chelsea wanted to close this deal around £70 million pounds with some add-ons. Brighton are not going to accept 70, so uh, something more is needed in terms of fixed amount and then to add some add-ons. So they are discussing this kind of details, but the deal is moving. The deal is on and the deal is slowly advancing. So work in progress for Caicedo to Chelsea. Contacts took place also on Wednesday. And so let's see what happens on this one, but it's absolutely on. 
And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories. Rice, Onana, Kane, Caicedo, I wait for your comments, guys. Here as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.